Hello friends and welcome to another episode where I review fountain pens. This time I have for you my latest acquisition. This isn't a proper vintage fountain pen, I call it a model fountain pen. It appeared on the market around 2005 and it is a quite quite large fountain pen similar in size with the famous Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149 Diplomat model from Mont Blanc but this time we have another German producer we have a Senator and the model is President quite quite a large fountain pen as you can see made in uh, plastic a black plastic body with gold plated trims and quite quite beautiful i paid for this model 530 lei which means i paid around 109 euros or 126 American dollars. This is quite a large sum of money, especially when you think this fountain pen comes with only a steel nib. There is also a variant of a 14 karat gold nib and of an 18 karat gold nib. I think I paid quite a large sum of money but considering the size of the fountain pen I think that uh, this beauty worth all the money to give you an idea of how large this fountain pen is I will put it side by side to other large fountain pens in my collection and also as a size re reference I will use the model Lamy 2000 so I have here the Lamy 2000, I have here our fountain pen and next to it I will put another large fountain pen. Let's um, take this press paper and uh, I will put it here because I want to align all the fountain pens. Okay, now I have for you a model from 1975 Romania this is uh, the famous model Flaro Titan Deluxe which uh, was equipped with a 14 karat gold nib and uh, you can see its uh, dimensions are quite generous be because it is a um, copy of the um, Mont Blanc 149 from the 1960s I will leave this aside i will also leave the economic version of the titan uh, which uh, came uh, the, with a steel nib and had this nickel plated um, metallic parts trims i will put this here and quite a large fountain pen it is a uh, Olympian pen kit. It uh, certainly resembles the Mont Blanc Dumas model. And I'll put this here. And I also have for you quite a good looking fountain pen made by Ceruti 881. And this is the Ceruti Ekale. Next to the Ceruti Ekale, I have two vintage pens from the 1950s. And I will start with the silver one. This is made by a Centro Pen and the model is inspired by the Barclay model of the 1930s. And this model has the number 1305 and as I told you it is made out of solid silver I will put this here and next to it this is um, one of my 
special fountain pens in the collection, a Mont Blanc masterpiece, 146, with the name on the back of the turning knob. Of course, I will leave the dimensions of our Senator President fountain pen on the screen, but still then, just look at this side-by-side -side comparison in terms of length and you can almost distinguish how thick they are. And uh, to make uh, an idea about the nib size and the general feeling of the fountain pen, I will also take out the nibs and especially I wanted to make a comparison between the names, but um, I think I will strip all the names down. Of course, uh, this Lamy 2000 has a semi-hooded nib, so no point in uh, opening it. Let's open the first, the Senator President. Quite, quite nice. Let's see if it pours. Yes, it posed quite, quite nice. And as an interesting fact, look at the size, at the length of this blind cap. It is quite, quite a large fountain pen. Okay, let's post this. And you can see this is the nib. It says on it, Iridium point. Germany, the logo in that period, and M, the size of the nib. Okay. Next to it, I will put the Flaro Titan with this wonderful, wonderful gold nib. Flaro Osmio 14K. A beautiful, beautiful gold nib. Next to it, I have the plain steel nib of the Flaro Titan. Next to it, I have the nib produced specially for the ocean retailer, for the Asian retailer. And here it is. The Saruti Kale. And here it is. The beautiful Barclay model. The Barclay model with this beautiful, beautiful 14 carat repeat nib and of course the Mont Blanc masterpiece 146 from 1952 with a beautiful 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 gold nib as you can see we have a bigger nib than the Mont Blanc Masterpiece 146 and the Flaro Titan Deluxe model with the gold nib and the steel nib. They are the same in dimensions. So these are the large, large steel nib. You can see that the Romanian models have the largest nibs because they are right on the specification of the Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149 from the 1960s. But our fountain pen 
the senator president it is quite quite a nice looking instrument and let's give it a zoom because this is an nos model we see the beautiful two-toned colored nib steel nib iridium point the logo of the senator brand germany and the size of the nib m look at the beautiful beautiful fountain pen on the back we have an uh, ebonite feed and uh, you can see the layers here of um, wood ebonite a slight concave ending of the grip section the threads of the cap and quite large ink windows and i want to show you the ink windows of the romanian model which they are very close to the uh, 1960s mont blanc 149 as you can see they are quite a large number and they are quite thick and this they are more rare but they are wider the ink windows what is different about this model is the fact that we have here this fake cap which reveals the turning piston which is quite large and practical to use <laughs> If um, I remember correctly, the 1950s models had this turning knob and it was much more smaller and narrower than on this model. But I w um, if we post it, I believe that we can unscrew the whole section and let's see if it works. Yes, it works. So you could uh, open it like this without removing the cap. Of course, let's uh, test how uh, the piston works. Being an NOS model, I expect to have a smooth run. And yes, indeed, you can see how easy it is to move it. We can see the end of the piston. We can see the inner part of the piston. It is all made out of plastic. So quite, quite a functional fountain pen. Unfortunately, I don't own a Mont Blanc 149 to test the ink capacity of the two models, but um, I suspect they are the same. That all depends on this turning knob and um, the difference is that on the Mont Blanc model, we have a narrower ending cap uh, and the cap is a real cap that turns the piston knob and not the uh, like this which is a fake cap the clip we have uh, the logo of the senator brand let's see how springy it is no i'm uh, i'm quite disappointed it's quite stuck on uh, this part is not that springy as i wanted it to be again senator president this is a mate gold and the president and the two bands are quite shiny gold uh, we have here a blank spot on which you could engrave your initials if you wanted and practically this is our big big fountain pen and um, i still have the lamy 2000 and you can see not as much as a long fountain pen because it is quite reasonable in length but it's, it is a quite quite it is a quite quite thick um, fountain pen it is a Goliath 
a titan like the Romanian name well uh, chosen name this is quite a little be uh, beast let's uh, leave aside the other models and um, I want to show you the beautiful capabilities of this and um, of course because I want to do the writing sample for the writing sample I have here a faber castell ink a turquoise ink let us um, take it out so um this is an nos model and you know that i use all my fountain pens but for the moment i will simply dip it in this um, ink and we'll see how uh, it will perform i won't post it i will put the cap here and let's put back the cap okay and i will change the angle of the camera okay and we will get closer so i have here a senator President. The year of manufacture of this particular model is um, around 2005. Of course, the brand Senator, as uh, well as Diplomat, they are quite old brands from the 1930s Germany. I couldn't find many information about uh, them but i'm still searching made in germany as you can see this is a steel nib steel nib and the size is m it has two colors let's see now uh, the line variation if we have some and surprisingly yes we have uh, I will call it a semi flexible nib. Not as uh, flexible as others, but quite, quite a uh, flexible nib. Let's see how juicy it is. Quite a juicy nib. Let's see. So, flex. It definitely has some flex to it. It's not a, a stiff nib. Till now I like it. Uh, let's do the pressure test. So, no pressure at all. And applying pressure. I'm uh, impressed about the quality of uh, this steel nib. You might uh, think that all the iridium point germany nibs are made in china but i know for a fact that this nib is made in germany and i presume it was made by bock but i'm not uh, sure maybe you will write in the comments what is uh, your uh, opinion about this type of nib and now i want to write a famous quote so instead of the brown fox that jumps over the lazy dog i want to write a famous quote so okay don't judge each day by the harvest (laughs) 
Jó rép. But by the seeds that you plant Robert Robert Louis Stevenson Let's zoom in and okay don't judge each day by the harvest you reap but by, but by the seeds that you plant Robert Louis Stevenson Well I must tell you that no matter what you think about the gold nibs and pen with gold nibs, this steel nib is performing quite well and I love the semi-flexibleness of it. The, the fact that it's a semi-flexible nib. It is a beautiful nib. Yes, I paid for this approximately 309 euros or 123 American dollars. But in my opinion, a massive fountain pen like this with uh, the beautiful Bok nib is worth the money. Of course, a part of me preferred to acquire the gold nib, the version with the gold nib, but there is no difference between the two models as well as I know the same feeling mechanism. So only the gold nib. Maybe in time I will find a separate gold nib to adapt to this fountain pen because the nib is uh, friction fit so it is uh, easy to remove and to uh, replace with another nib. So guys, this was my review of a wonderful, wonderful large fountain pen Similar in comparison with the Grand Diplomat from Mont Blanc. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. It uh, really helps when you give me a like or when you comment on my uh, videos. Thank you for your time. As always, I uh, wish you to have a nice day see you again at the next episode and bye bye